So let's now talk about the leg region. Take note that the leg lies between the knee and the ankle region. Between your knee joint and the ankle region is what we call your what? Your leg. Both of them are joint. Knee is a joint, ankle too is a joint. Hold on a bit. A complete series of classes in anatomy, all of them, physiology, all the physiology, biochemistry, all. They are available in the LearnLift app. So just head down to Play Store or App Store and type LearnLift, right? And then download the app and you have access to all your classes and the continuation of this lesson you are watching right now. For the now, peace out. So also note that the leg contains two long bones. One is thick and the other is thin. The thick bone is what we call the words the tibia, while the slim or the thin bone is what we call the word the fibula. So take note that the thick media bone is what we call the word the tibia. It is thick and it is at the medial region, that means media, while the one that is narrow or thin and lateral is what we call the word the fibula. So the leg contains two long bones. We have the thick media bone, which is called the tibia, and the narrow lateral bone, which is called the word the fibula. Now also note that there is a prominence at the posterior aspect of the leg. That prominence is formed by muscles, which we call the triceps suri. And those muscles form what we call the calf. So we call them the calf muscles. What are the calf muscles? And when we get to muscles, you know them. I have an acronym for them. I call them the GPS. The GPS. We have the gastrocnemius muscle. We have the plantaris muscle, GPS. And we have the word the solis muscle, GPS. The gastrocnemius muscle, the plantaris muscle, and the word solis muscle. Leave muscle for now. Are you, do you understand that? But take note, everybody, what do we say? The, promine the, the, the prominence at the posterior aspect of the leg. What is that prominence called? It is formed by triceps three. The word triceps means three. Triceps three of muscles called the word the calf muscles. What are the calf muscles? I call them the word the GPS. Everybody, what do we say about the leg region? The leg region lies between the knee and the ankle. It contains two bones, right? Two long bones. One is thick, the other is thin. The thick one is called the tibia. Why the thin one is called the word the fibula. Also know that the tibia is media, why the fibula is what lateral. Now let's appreciate the diagram. Back to the diagram. Look at it, two long bones. This one that is thick is called the word tibia. And this one that is thin is called the word the fibula. Now, there are two joints there. First is this joint. That joint, it is formed by the tibia and the fibula. So that are the tibio fibula joint. The tibio fibula joint is also here too. So this one will become the prosima tibio fibula joint tibio fibula joint while this one will be called the dista tibio fibula or joint so take note everybody want to talk about that when we get to the word to the joint what forms the leg the leg is formed by two long bones the tibia and the fibula which one is media tibia which one is lateral fibula which one is thick media that's your tibia which one is thin your fibula now, still on the leg region, we said that the leg region at the posterior aspect of the leg is a thick prominence. Can you see the thick prominence? That thick prominence is formed by a tricep series of muscle. And we call that part the calf. Look at it. It's called the calf. It is formed by three muscles. I call them the GPS, right? The GPS. What is G? We say we have the gastrocnemius muscle. PDS, what we call the word, the plantaris muscle. SDS, what we call the word, the solis muscle. What we get to? Uh, to your muscles, we're going to talk about that. Everybody, the posterior aspect of the thigh is called the arm, arm string. The posterior aspect of the leg is called the what? The calf. We say there's a depression found at the posterior aspect of the knee. What that depression called? It is called your what? Your popliteal what? Fossa. Are you following the classes? Now, let's now talk about the ankle, also called the talocural region. The talocural what? Region. Now, look at it. The ankle region is between the leg and the foot. The ankle region is between the leg and the foot. Now picture the leg, picture the foot. That joint between them is called the what? The ankle region. How is it formed? Take note that it consists of one, the malloli of the tibia and the what? The fibula. Malloli of the tibia and what? Fibula. And the second thing is formed by one, one bone from the foot, which is called the what? The talus bone. So the malloli of tibia, malloli of fibula, and what the tibia. Just the way we have the lateral condyle and the condyles of the femoral condyles of the tibia. That's how we have the word the malloli of tibia and what fibula. Am I pronouncing it well? Malloli. Now, if you say you understand that, let's get to the diagram. Look at it. First, you can see that this is the tibia and this is the fibula. 
As a tibia runs down, this tibia has a condyle or a malleolus called the what the medial malleolus. Now, in in upper part of the tibia we have condyle, but the lower part of the tibia you we, we use word malleoli. So this is the medial malleoli and this is the lateral word malleolus. Both of them are plural and singular. So we have the medial malleolus, we have the word the lateral word malleolus. Now we now have what we call the word the talus bone. So the talus bone is coming from the foot. So both of them form, this is that's how this, your ankle joint is what's formed. It's formed by the malleoli of tibia and fibula, as well as the word, the talus. But we're going to throw more light on that joint. Remember that we are doing an overview. This is overview. Everything, all the classes in this chapter of the app is what overview. Now, if you say you understand that, now let's now go to the foot region. Look at it. The foot is the distal part of the lower limb. Just the way we have the hand. This is hand, right? This is forearm. This is arm for upper limb. For lower limb, the distal part is what we call the word the foot. Now take note that the foot consists of seven tassel bones. We're gonna learn them. Are you seeing? After that, we have the word five metatarsal bone, and we have 14 two bones called the word the phalanges. Everybody, what are the bones of the foot? We have the seven tassel bone, five metatarsal bone, and 14. 14 what phalanges is also called the two bone. I'll tell you why they are 14. Now the big two is called the hallux. What I call the big two? The big two is called the hallux. Why the small two is called the mini me. Mini me, sometimes it is called queen. See everybody, what is the big two called? Hallux. Why the small two is called what? Mini me. Why the rest are called digits? Well, all of them are digits, but the big two and the small two has a, a separate name. The big two, just the way we have the big tongue. The big two is called the allos, while the small two is called the mini me. Now, this big two, which is the allos, has two bones. While the rest digit has, the rest four digits have three, 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 three. So, if you total this, this is three plus three plus three plus three, right? Three plus three, six plus three, nine, plus three, that's twelve. Now, twelve plus this two will give us 14. That's how we have the word 14 to bone. The halos did not have, it's not having three bones, it's having two. I'll show you now from the diagram. Everybody, all eyes on the diagram. Look at it. First of all, this is the foot, this is the foot. You can see that from here now, look at it. This is, from this region, it's called the phalanges. This big toe has just two. But this one have one, two, three. So this is three. This have one, two, three, this is three. This have one, two, three, this is three. This have one, two, that's three. If you plus three plus three plus three plus three, that's twelve. Twelve plus two, so we have fourteen what phalanges. Now these there are five. Look at it. One, two, three, four, five. So these are five. Right? These ones are seven. One, two. Look at it. One, two, three, four. This is five. This is six and this is seven. Making them to have seven what tassa bone. So seven tassa bone, five meter tassa bone, 14 words phalanges, and they have joints. We're going to talk about their joints. Very quickly, when it comes to creating accounts, how do you create an account? Very easy. Let me give you the steps. First and foremost, you say create account and login. You only log in right when you already have an account. Since you don't have an account, click, click on create account. When you get there, put in your phone number, put in your phone number. After putting in your phone number, you click on continue, right? Your first name, of course, you put in your first name there. If your first name is James, you put in James as your first name. Your last name, if your last name is Victor, you put in what? Victor as your last name. Then you come to email address, right? Put in your email address there very quickly. James112 at gmail.com at gmail.com then your password, right? Oh, yes. Those of you that like, if you want to use your name, your password can just be like six digits, right? Oh, yes. So let me say James 12. James 12 as the password, right? Fill everything accurately and correctly. James 12. Don't jump any stage. If not, your account is not going to open for you. Select education. On that select education, of course, university. You click university. Leave secondary, primary, leave the others. Click university or tertiary. Click it. 
Come to select level. Under select level, you go and select your level. If it's 100 level, 200 level, of course, all these are the university classes. Click on 200 level and click on create account. Once you click on create account, what will happen? Your class will load straight and then your profile will be set up and then it will take you towards to class. Easy and direct. So you see it. This is how you create your account. And then from here, you can see that you have your anatomy here, your upper limb, your lower limb, separately embryology, histology, systemic anatomy. Those ones are for nursing. Your CVS, cardiovascular system, your blood physiology, excitable tissues, systemic physiology, intro to biochemistry, your bowel molecules, BCM for nursing, nursing psychology. You have access to every single thing in the app. Now, let me see what is in the app. Let's say, for example, upper limb. You click on the upper limb, right? You can see that you have your classes there already waiting for you. Overview of the upper limb, pectoral region, arm region, forearm, hand, all of them, part by part. When I click on the overview of the upper limb, of course, I'll just match it straight to my class. Parts of the upper limb, one part of the upper limb, two bone of, bones of the upper limb, joints of the upper limb, muscles. You see, all your classes are there for you right okay let me say i want to start now and then i want to watch joints of the upper limb all you just need to do is click on that particular class that you want to watch joints of the upper limb and what will happen your class will load and your classes will start playing for you immediately so you see you may choose to say okay i want to rotate it right oh yes rotate it and you start following your classes immediately easy and direct you may choose to say, okay, you want to forward, you want to pause, you want to back and um, back forward, anyone you want to do. And you take it forward and what happened, you can see all of them very, very easy. And the sweet part is that there are questions for you at the end of every class. Are you with me? So that's for that. And you may choose to go back and then go to the notes section of the app. Oh yes, when you get to the notes section of the app, of course, the notes are there. Well organized and arranged for you. And you can zoom in and then start following back to back. And you are following. You may even choose to go and start answering questions. Questions are there for you. And there are answers. You start um, following through every singular facet of it. And you are learning on your own. And there is CPT in the app as well for you. A lot of other aspects that you can follow up. All of this in the LearnLift app. Same way you have for anatomy. That's how you have for physiology. That's how you have for biochemistry. Are you getting it now? For the now, bye-bye. Now, if you say you understand that, take note that the dosum, this is called the dosum of the foot. Why? Posteriorly, or that's beneath it, it's called the word the sole of the feet. So this is dosum of the foot, and this is called the word sole of the foot. Now, look at that. The superior surface of the foot is called the dosum of the foot. Why the inferior surface is called the sole of the feet. Those are all the foot, sole of the foot. But for hand, hope you know, the sole of the foot is homologous to the palm of the hand. This is the palm. So this is the palm of the hand, which is in lower name, we say, we say sole. Why? This is the dozen of the word of the hand. Dozen of the hand, sole, uh, palm of the hand. For, for leg, now we said the dozen of the foot, Soul of the foot. Both of them are just opposite of each other. Do you understand that? If you say you understand that, take note that each limb, each leg, each lower limb has one femur, has one patella, one tibia, one fibula, seven tassa bone, five metatarsa bone, 14 phalanges. And if you total them, we have 30 bones. So the lower limb has 30. That's for each. 30 bones. Do you understand? Talking about the femur, add them together. One femur, one, one. And if you tie it by each, that's this for each limb. Now, if you say you understand that, what are the golden points to know in this class? The first golden point to know that the largest bone is called the word the femur. Everybody, what's the largest bone? It is called the word the femur. And the largest sissimoid bone, I told you, the sissimoid bone is the patella bone. These are MCQ questions. Everybody, that's what we call them the golden point. What's the largest bone of the body? Femur. What was the largest sissimoid bone patella? Take what was the commonest fracture? What was the commonest fracture of the femur? We said the commonest point of fracture in the lower limb is called the neck. I explained to you. Commonest fracture point for lower limb. So that woman that was rushed to the hospital, when she had a fracture of the femur, the, what should come to your mind? What part the neck of the femur? I showed you that diagram that the neck of the femur is the commonest point of what fracture. And think that the lower, what was the 
Both the back of the thigh called the back of the thigh is called the ham. Abi, the the lower part of the back of the thigh is called the word the ham. And that thing to note is that what the posterior aspect was that depression found in the knee joints. The knee joint has a depression, it's called the popliteal fossa. We said the upper limb is called the cubita, but for lower limb it is called the word the popliteal fossa. And take note that what is the posterior aspect of the leg called it's called calf. For thigh, we call it ham, but for leg, we call it calf. Please, do you understand that this? Are the golden points. Understand them, take them over and over and over again. Take note that next class we're going to talk about the joints of the lower limb. And that will be our lesson four. But for now, peace out. We'll talk about the sacroiliac joint, the hip joint, and so on. Remember that this is still overview. We just started learning that we are just taking the overview of everything about the world lower limb. But for now, peace out. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the Learn Lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store and then follow up your classes you must do extremely well i'll see you in class bye bye